Hey, welcome Here back. We <laughs> Let's play Kythera. Um, last episode, we we're kind of all over the place because I really like to get the gator skin and the sapphire book of beauty on the first day. And now it's getting late, it's getting dark. We're in Kadimia, Mother City. I think I'm gonna go get that magical staff that produces light. Run there. For what's my call? It's coming out. The ruffians. Yeah, the ruffians. But they don't come out quite yet. Um, do you want to read the description of uh, this? The odor that wafts from this room is almost overwhelming. For some reason, a combination of some sort of stench and amazingly high humidity combine to make something almost unbearable. It seems like something died in here a long time ago and has been festering ever since. And I'm guessing that's exactly what happened. There's the skeleton, the skeleton. <laughs> hiding under the mushroom. And the skeleton has a magical staff. So I'm going to have to put my sword away so that I can carry the staff. It takes two hands to carry that. Let's see. That's a lot None better. shall pass! And I feel like for a video I should try to keep the light on. Make it easier to see. This is awesome. Five o'clock in the afternoon now. And um, I think we should learn magic. So, actually, I don't know if I have any training points. No, you don't. I do. do yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you leveled up. I remember noticing that. Your right, health so. increased like one dot. Or <laughs> yeah! <laughs> one dot. Okay, so I can go learn magic. With, I think that's even on my to do list. No, no, it's not. Because you it's... don't have magic as one of your base skills. Yeah. If if I was like a mage on explorer or something, Arlek would have told me to go learn magic. But he doesn't expect me to be able to do that, but I still can. I'm not going to be great at it, but I can do it. Yes, can you nice. even without learning magic? You cannot, no. Yeah. Definitely required. So here's the Magisterium. We read about that in some of the books. Steve. In like episode two. And here's Headmaster Lindus. Yeah, Headmaster. Welcome, stranger. Halerix said you'd be by sooner or later. I am Lindus, Headmaster of the Magisterium. You have come to learn the ways of the mage, no? Yes. What would you like to train in? Mana or casting? Now let's do both. <laughs> Lindus looks you over, passing his hands back and forth in front of you. Good, let us get started right away. You proceed to get trained in basics of the ways of the mage. The most prized possession of a mage is their grimoire, and so I proudly present you with yours. You may now use it to learn spells. Use it on the scroll. Okay, and casting, pretty much the same. Lindus looks you over, start right away. And let's Proceed see. Proceed to get trained in the basics, the ways of the mage. After a while, he stops saying, let's get so started, so. and says something different. Right, if I train high enough, which I can't right now. Um, Let's see, should I do one more mana and one more casting, or... Yeah, I'll do that. That'll get me to three of each. Like okay. most classic adventure games, you only have to write in the first four characters of a word to make it work. Right. I, I learned most that when I, was, when I was young. I accidentally would write trabe a lot instead of train and that they'd just go with it. I am Lindus, headmaster of the Magisterium. Uh, I am the headmaster <laughs> of the Magisterium. A thankless job if ever there was one. Um let's see. I could ask him about the tunnels. There's rumors about tunnels, but nobody's told me the rumors yet. I'm sure you've heard the rumors about treasure or failed experiments, but, well, they aren't exactly true. The tunnels broke knicks, so were used for storage. But, unfortunately, 
There's a loose golem in them. We just keep people out of them for their own safety. Nothing more sinister than that. Nobody's been down there for ages. Leastways, not since I was made headmaster. The secrets of how to get down there are well guarded. Don't want any accidents to happen to overly inquisitive students. Okay, golem. So generic mage prompt. Every mage learns the lesson of the golem spell, though learning it the hard way is much worse. Have you heard the story? No. Well, at one time, it was common for a mage to construct a golem, a being made of clay and magically empowered. They were used to perform simple physical tasks, being immensely strong. But there was a problem. There was no way to unmake the golem, save physically destroying them. And when their master died, nobody could control them. They would run amok, causing great violence and destruction. Unfortunately, there are still a few in existence today. The beginning a student learns that all their spells can have long-lasting consequences because of this. Think about Alaric. Obviously, as headmaster, I'm closer to Alaric than any others, save perhaps his personal staff. Publicly, I must present a united facade. Everything is going to be fine. But privately, I'm deeply concerned. We are trying to make plans for all eventualities, but it looks dicey, no matter how things go. Anything else I need to ask him? I don't know. Bye. My door is always open to a student. Alright, so now I've got three mana, three casting. Not great, that's all I can get right now. Seven, train up to the third point. level, right? The third hall. The first three halls were just the main well, library. Yeah. yeah. Um, do we want to like talk to everyone here, or just go upstairs to some magic? Let's talk to those people. Okay. You see a tired and weary-looking woman. Welcome to the study hall. Make yourself at home. Me. I am Helen, wife of Paris. Job. I run the study hall, mostly catering to the mages and students. Hall. The hall serves both complete meals as well as drinks. Meals. The meals are six overloy per person. Interested? No, that's not even a good Very meal. well, another time. <laughs> a round of drinks is two obloy. What do you say? I probably ought to wait until I have more obloy before doing Another this. time, then. Um, okay. Bye. Please come back again. Let's talk to her daughter. I recognize you from my dream. Don't bother the nice lady with your nonsense. I think working at the magisterium. <laughs> now, unfortunately, Helen's mom cuts in. You mean Yobi's mom? Uh, yeah, Niobe's mom, Helen, cuts in. And so all the rest of Niobe's dialogue appears as Helen's dialogue. It's really annoying. But anyway, dream. I dreamt that I was playing at the beach near the water. My mommy doesn't let me do that, which is why I know it was a dream. A big wave then came in, and when it went back, there was a person lying there. I went to go look at her, and I saw that it was you. I heard a noise behind me. But there was nothing there. When I turned back again, it wasn't a person, but a big fish that swam away. That was a weird dream. Yeah, that is odd. Name? I'm Niobe. Job. Ah, uh, job. <laughs> Silly, I'm just a little girl. Though sometimes I help my mommy out at the study hall. Mommy? Big people call my mommy Helen. Click it. Lots of nice people come to the study hall. Does she know anything about the tunnels? I don't know. Maybe a grown-up will know. Yeah, probably. Okay, bye. Come by and play again sometime. Alright. What's that? Let's see. You see, yeah. you see a stressed male student. Oops. <laughs> That's I'm a job student already. specializing in alchemy. Name? 
I'm called Menelaus. Something like that. Oh, this guy was killed in one of the chronicles. It's canon that he's dead now. No, that's not canon. It's Cron canon. <laughs> or Tia. Was it the TS? The TS. He was killed in the TS and then the defect of the Chronicles. Um, yeah, tunnels. Ever since that magically locked door along the outer southern edge of Nyx, I've seen, ever seen that. Well, depending on what rumor you believe, they lead to either hidden treasures that the mages have collected, or to some sort of a prison where all the failures of their experiments are kept, and it is swarming with golems. Okay. Bye. Goodbye. Um, do you want to try to pronounce everyone's name? Good. <laughs> okay. You see, it's just a male student. Name. I'm called Peleus. I'm a student, hoping to study some magic. Rune magic. Yeah, rune magic. Goodbye. I'm called Lycaon. I'm a student. I haven't decided what I want to study yet. I can relate Goodbye. to that. See a stressed female student. I'm called Alcyon. I'm a student. Nice. Goodbye. <laughs> That's it, just a student. It's just a male student. I'm called a Pisander. I'm just a student. I'm a bit overwhelmed by all this. Goodbye. It's just a female student. I'm called a Clytemnestra. I'm a student. I've been specializing in rune magic. Goodbye. Students have the weirdest names. No, it's just a female student. I'm called a Dene. I'm a student specializing in healing. Goodbye. Another stressed male student. I'm called a Protocellus. I'm a student hoping to study he healing. Goodbye. Another stressed male student. I'm called Thrasimides. I'm a student hoping to study healing. Goodbye. Um. Okay, so there's three, three branches of magic that we can study. There's alchemy, runic magic, or healing magic. And I don't, have the, training, I don't have the training points to study any of those. You're going to have to learn alchemy eventually. I am going to have to learn alchemy, even though it's a relatively useless skill. Besides, you know, being required, being required to win the game. Um, these are the dorm rooms. And this one hasn't been used in a while. So inside the desk, we have the Sapphire, Sapphire Book, Book of, of Understanding. Understanding. Without the capacity to take form, all is for naught. So one must be able to this very abs abstract reasoning to the results of the raw energy of wisdom. I don't even know about the grammar in there. <laughs> I feel like it's missing something. Okay. That brings us to a total of three sapphire books. And over okay, here's the main hall. We can start learning magic. Get all those grimoires. And then, like these magically locked doors. A voice seems to speak in your mind from the door. What is the password to the eighth degree hall? I think that the password is code or something. But I'm not supposed to know yet. But it doesn't count unless I've been told the password. That must be the librarian. You see a disheveled old man looking older than dirt itself. Hey! What can I do for you? But I don't know about his hair. He looks like a walking. He looks or like the, the great Shana K. Great Shana Key. Remember? From uh, Song of the Sea? Yeah. He does from, look from like Irish that. Yeah. Mythology. Legends. Whatever they are. Our music is broken. My name is Salinus. What's yours? What's your? <laughs> uh, so what did I decide on? The uh, love. Yeah. Love. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it's spell it right. Oh well. I'll remember that, Bella Rofia. No, you won't. 
job. I'm the librarian here at the Magisterium. I know every book in here. Book. The real magic here is the books. Yeah, the books. Okay. Password. Normally, passwords to higher degree halls are handed out based on years of study, but for you, we can make an exception. Instead, you can perform a service for the library. Over the years, our ten-volume book of sapphire wisdom has disappeared. For every two books you find and return, I'll give you another password. I guess that's a new to-do item. Retrieve books of wisdom. Sapphire. There are ten sapphire books of knowledge. The crown, wisdom, understanding, mercy, power, beauty, victory, splendor, foundation, and the kingdom. Okay. You told us about some of them. I don't remember which ones. I think Alec has the sapphire book of the crown. The last I heard, the sapphire book of power was in Cademia. I'm not sure what happened to that sapphire book. I'm not sure where that was, but we had a copy when I started here, so somebody walked off with it since then. Do you remember from the last episode, um, Judd Satano submitted that he did that. So hopefully we can go back and get the book from him later. Um, I don't remember what all the sapphire books were. Beauty. I'm not sure what happened to that sapphire book. Kingdom. The sapphire book of kingdom was somewhere in the castle of the tyrant in Cademia. Understanding. I think some student years ago had the sapphire book of understanding. So we already got understanding, beauty, and kingdom. Um, victory. I'm not sure what happened to that sapphire book. Um, I already did foundation, right? What were the other ones? There are ten sapphire <laughs> books of knowledge. The crown, wisdom, understanding, oh, mercy, power, beauty, victory, splendor, foundation, and the kingdom. I asked about everything except splendor, right? Maybe. I'm not sure what happened to that sapphire book. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and return the first three. I see you found three books. This is good. The password to the fourth degree hall is Pakana. I have no idea what that means. Do you want to record it or just remember it? I'll remember it. Bye. I've got books to care for. Start back again. Um, what was your name again? Baderufia, yes, that's it. I could just lie to him. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Here's some spells I can learn. It is a tome that teaches the spell Directed Nexus. This spell creates a, opens a portal to a specified location, which will instantly transport you and your party, party to its nexus point in Land King Hall. That's a super useful spell, so I'm learning that. Anytime I'm in trouble, like about to be killed, I can just direct a nexus out of there. It's very useful. It is a tome that teaches the spell Nutrient. This spell provides nutrients for the target, as if they had eaten recently. It's mildly useful. It is a tome that teaches the spell Minor Embrightenment. This spell causes the area to be lit up as if by a candle. Should I learn the Embrightenment spells? Eh, learn them all. It's not like it. Well, I only have three casting points, so I can only learn like 21 spells right now. Yeah. I'll go ahead and learn that. I'll go ahead and learn my own brightness. You have your staff. It is a tome that teaches the spell Mystic Arrow. This spell causes a small bolt of mystic power to shoot from the caster to the target. Not a spell I really ever use, but <laughs> I'll go ahead and learn it anyway. It is a tome that teaches the spell Lesser Healing. This spell heals minor wounds. I can't actually learn that yet because I haven't, you haven't mastered, mastered the prerequisites healing magic. You fail to learn lesser healing. 
Use a charm that teaches the spell Awaken. The spell will rouse the target from a slumber. Since you're the main one that ever gets put to sleep because everybody else runs off as soon as something attacks. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's not really it's not useful. useful. It's not useful for combat. But it is if I want to talk to someone in the middle of the night. Yeah. But I want you to actually be able to read the conversation. And if I use Awaken spell, I can't read the conversation. It's just blank. That's so, hard. I'm not sure if we'll use that spell or not. The other option is to attack a person to wake them up, but they get mad if you do that. Yeah. Sometimes you They're instantly kill here. them. It is a tome that teaches the spell Detect Traps. This spell will determine if there are any hidden dangers. Yeah, that's pretty useless. I'm not going to learn that. It's a lot easier to step on them. It is a tome that teaches the spell Detect Rune. This spell finds hidden runes. I haven't learned also... runic magic, and I don't think I'm going to because all the rune spells are pretty useless or don't work at all. Is the tome that teaches the spell resist blows? This spell causes target to partially resist blows aimed at them. I'm thinking that spell doesn't even work, but I'm not sure. It is a tome that teaches the spell terrorization. This spell causes instant fear in the target. Annoying when it's cast at you, but not real useful to know yourself. Healing! The spell heals various wounds. Can't learn that. Soporiferousness. The spell puts the target into a deep sleep. Ascertainment. The spell allows the detection of lies during conversations. Go ahead and do that in case we want to catch the Mana Brothers and their lies. Detect Concealment. This spell will determine if there are any concealed items. Stars. Embrightenment. This spell causes the area to be lit up as if by a torch. Um, uh, rune of Warding. The spell will inscribe a rune which signals the caster when something steps on it. The spell doesn't work. Rune of Flame. The spell inscribes a rune that causes a burst of flame to engulf the first thing that steps on it. I don't think that one works either. Dispel rune. Dispel erases a given rune. Did you look at that book? This one. Rally. The spell breaks the effect of fear on anybody in the party. What's the open book? That's an alchemy book, I think. Basic alchemical potions. There are a number of basic potions that can be made by the novice practitioner with basic equipment and skills. These include healing, sulfur, mage's friend with obsidian, antidote with spider webs, clear head with peppermint, smith's friend with a ruby, farsight with diamonds, food of the gods with swamp seed pods, and nerve tonic with swamp beans. The magic bean! The magic bean. That's what the most meant. That's amazing what they meant thing the that I've ever seen. Major embrightenment. This spell causes the area to be lit up as if by a bonfire. Vision of the night. This spell gives the caster the ability to see things in the dark as plainly as during the day. That's the best one. Right? No. So that's that's debatable. <laughs> Vision of the Night turns everything black and white. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. That could be annoying. Alleviation. This spell neutralizes various toxins. That's a great spell. When I learn healing magic, I'm going to come back and learn that. Greater healing. That's a good spell, too. Derangement. This spell causes the target to be confused and deranged. You don't say. I do say. Awaken all. This spell causes everybody in the party to be roused from a slumber. Too bad you can't cast spells while you are asleep. So not very useful. Mage lock. This spell magically locks a door or a chest. I'll learn that. Although I don't know how. Remove mage useful. lock is more useful yeah. than mage lock. <laughs> rune of blocking. This spell inscribes a rune which prevents things from passing. That rune actually works. But cool. I don't think I'm going to learn runic magic. Now, down here we have the fourth degree hall. 
A voice seems to speak in your mind from the door. What is the password to the fourth degree hall? But, well, there's lightning. We can't learn spells in here because I don't have enough casting. Um, do we want to look at the books in the bookshelf? They're sure. mostly like a loy boy, which are really boring. Those are already read. Whatever. We haven't read them, but I don't know if you want to bother. Life Cycle of Sila. There can be no doubt that the Sila is among the most dangerous inhabitants of Sathera. Yeah, but little is known Sarah about these creatures. Home. Okay. Here's one Alophius of the Aloys, J. Boy. I think that's J. The frog being caught is kept all night in an ark or chest. Presently, the frog will begin to leap therein, and this is an omen of good success. Dawn being come, thou shalt approach the chest with an offering of gold, and if available, of frankincense and of myrrh. Thou shalt then release the frog from the chest with many acts of homage and place it in apparent liberty. He may, for example, be placed on a quilt of many colors and covered with a net. And all the alloy foy make about that much sense. So <laughs> it's up to you. Do you want to read them all or do you want to skip those? Whatever you want to do. They're, they're just nonsense. Lost Settlement Ooh, of Abydos. It was in 184 that settlers from Pnix ventured south to form a second mage-friendly settlement. Led by the mage Tavara, they eventually founded the settlement of Abydos. It was in 192 that all contact with Abydos stopped. An expedition to re-establish communications was formed. Upon entering Abydos, they discovered all the inhabitants missing, but no signs of violence. Food was on the tables. Work items lay on the ground as if the people simply vanished without a trace. To this day, Abydos is shunned and avoided, and has been left to fall to nature. Fanciful stories, however, circulate about Abydos being haunted. But surely there is no truth in to them. Oh, surely not. And uh, just for context, it's year 900-something now, so this is over 700 years ago. History of Cathera. The history of Cathera dates back to the destruction of our homeland by fire and our heroic journey through the sea. How we awoke, lost and stranded on an unknown island that we have come to call Cathera is surely the stuff of legends. The loss of our gods was woeful to us, and the rise of the mages spelled disaster to us all, but for the power of the great tyrant of Cadimia, who exiled them in 132. Truly, without... I think it's 152. 152. Okay, 152. Truly, without the great tyrant, we would have never survived. Some people liked the tyrant. Oh, I just read them. You just read them. Alophius oh, A. Those. Let the magus. Let's see. Is there anything in the main room besides Alophius? Hello, will B. There are four gates. <laughs> Do you want to read them? Because if you want to. First prophecy of Anelinus the Savant. The day of the tyrants shall be numbered, and it shall end with a new order. The exiles shall return, and with them a new leader. The people shall rejoice, and six of them shall rise. When the voice of a god speaks, so shall be the first sign. That which was lost shall try to return, but now is not the time for that to be. The voice must be destroyed, for it speaks not the truth. So shall the last act of the tyrant be. Before the wanderer comes with the guidance of a fool, so shall a new age begin. Okay, so that was talking about like when Owlet came to power. Um, the exile shall return, that's the mages. And the new leader is Alaric. People rejoice. Six of them shall rise, that's the six houses. So we've only encountered Nicander and Kumana so far. No. No? The, the, the house that does all the, the food. Where did we encounter them? Like just now with Niobe and Helen? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, they are, um, what are they called? Ask them. 
<laughs> do they remember what their owner house is, or are they all too inbred to remember even that? Um. Anyway, voice of a god speaks. I think that's the cult of Scylla, and um, the, it must be destroyed. Speaks not the truth. I, they might have a book about the cult of Scylla on here. Or we might have to wait till later in the game to read about that. Alotheus F. Many have arisen. Many have arisen. That's all you need to know about that book. <laughs> I'm having trouble finding a book to read. Alophius A. Can we already read Alophius A? They might have multiple copies, but no, I don't think they did. Last Cult of ah, Sheila. During the last days of the Third Tyrant, an underground cult began to arise, challenging the authority of the tyrant. This cult, cult worshipped Sheila, the sea behemoth, viewing it as a god who controlled the seas. It was even said that worship included making sacrifices to the beasts. Finally, the tyrant sent forth his bravest commander and a small troop of men to destroy the cult, attacking by stealth. The commander was armed with the legendary Sword of Heroes, the most powerful weapon of the tyrant. However, it was shortly after they left Cademia, heading northwest, that Alaric appeared, ending the rule of the tyrants forever. Of the cult, nothing remains, but it, be it due to the Sword of Heroes or the powers of Alaric, for the troops never returned and the powers of the cult vanished. Even the locations of the temple is unknown, save that it is in the northwest. Okay, I'm sorry. I guess we read that in Land King Hall. I forgot. Mm-hmm. Alophius, oh, thou shalt crush me. <laughs> like teen, angsty teen poetry. Oh. Alophius, thee, he writeth for them that are ready. Thus it is known... Lost Cult of Sheila. During the last days of the third of tyrant, Alophius YH, Flora and Fauna of Cythera, the wildlife of Cythera. I read that in Land King Hall, right? Probably. An account of a Simeus the Golem Hunter. I don't think we've read this one. And in this day, given the problems of golems that survived their master's death, they must be tracked down and destroyed, lest they wreak havoc and bring a greater damage to the population as a whole, and thus distrust to the mages themselves. Semius went forth wearing the legendary cloak of hero Heracles to slay these threats to society, to reduce them to the meat of earth. And so the fate of Semius is unknown, a last rumor to be in the city of Cademia, though that is but a rumor. It is said that he was at last seen purchasing a lyre, saying something about the key to opening being SGD, though we, of course, discount this as nonsense. It is nonsense because the code is something like PMG, not SGD. So, <laughs> I don't know how he ever got in there, but we'll go find him, find his corpse later. His skeleton. An account for Simeus the Golem Hunter. Third prophecy of Nolanus the Savant. And in the end of the second age, the great unif... We didn't read the second prophecy yes, yet, did we? No, that one's hard to find. Uh. In the end of the second age, the great unifier shall pass. Upon this leaving, it shall chaos and disaster come. Land and sea shall part. The middle cannot hold. Air and fire shall wreak havoc, and night shall fall. From the night to the next dawn, what was one shall become many. The bird of two will bemoan his fate, and that of the third. The world shall be sundered before the coming of the dawn, and shattered shall it ever be after be ever after. The void shall not keep the parts of the whole, for the powers of the four directions shall form a fifth. The four parts of the opener of ways made one. This shall be the key to the fifth element. Those that walk the fifth element will bring the dawn, bring the dawn, and from those walkers will be brought a new order. Only the walkers of the new order shall have the unified power, and those of the four directions shall be at their mercy. So if you want to know what happens in the sequel, 
Which this doesn't exist. The notebook got made, sadly. This prophecy is about the sequel that, that Glenn Andreas was going to make. We know that for a fact. Word of Glenn? Uh, or just... I think sure. I think we know for a fact that we can get clues to the sequel from the prophecies of Nelanius the Solvent. And it's pretty clear that the first prophecy was about Arlet coming to power, the second prophecy was about the player, Bellerophon, and then the third prophecy would be about the sequel. It has. Al Aloifus MJ. Mary Jane? What? Yeah, what are those? Aloifus uh, MJ. It's a habit of, of people accumulating old manuscripts to label them with numbered letters. Like did that. I already look at this show? I think so. Okay. So if there's anything worth reading up here. MRS. Mrs. <laughs> Aloifus Mrs. Like getting an MRS degree. Yes, there's a hardwood. Hello, this FD. Good thing there wasn't a V there. Hello, this YS. First prophecy of known is the seventh. I just got that VFD reference. That took me a while. <laughs> Basis we, of we magic. Read that in Land King magic Hall. is based on the powers of the earth itself. Okay, how many what copies should... of Basis of Magic do you need? When they manipulated? You read it in Land King Hall. Yeah. Lorfis YD. History of Scalera. Alright, I guess that's all. So you want to go ahead and start? Yeah. We've been going for half an hour. Right. People get bored if they have to watch it for longer than that. <laughs> They're going to get bored anyway. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So next time, we'll maybe we'll go back to Kosher and get that Sapphire book from Dota Tanos. Yeah. Even if we have to wake him up. That doesn't that work. Bump. It has to be while he's in his study um, awake. Can you kill him and then move him there and resurrect him? and? Mm -hmm. That might work, but a lot of times when you resurrect people, their bodies like disappear and they might generate back where they were. Oh. So I don't know if it would work or not. I'm guessing not, but... Probably not. Alright. Until next time. <laughs>